What's up guys, this is Technocube and you are watching Basics of C Well, in the previous session, we had seen file upload control in ASP.NET using C -sharp. And then we had taken some gap, right? And then here am I, right? So uh, in this session, we're gonna see how to connect your ASP.NET application with database. Uh, we already had gone through some Windows application where we had seen the same thing that how you connect your uh, Windows application with database. But this is somehow, I mean, it's completely going to be uh, same, but some things, some settings are going to be changed. So uh, just for the sake of that reason, I'm going to uh, introduce you this, uh, this session, okay? So let's get started. So I have this uh, Visual Studio, which is having an empty website, and I already had uh, this, uh, uh, this web form, default.aspx, and also I had some uh, database, so database is having one table, tbl underscore data one and three columns, ID, name and city. And also I had given some dummy data here. So which is one, two and three. Uh, and Abraham, Lincoln, Smith, Dubai, London and New York. Okay, this is the dummy data. So uh, I will drag and drop my grid view control here in the default.aspx page. Okay, so in the toolbox. I will drag and drop your grid view is come and come and sit under the data tab so you need to find the data tab and then there is grid view you drag and drop here it looks something like this it is um, it is having a row and column very similar to that of a table okay so the first thing is we need to create three columns ID name and city so we will we will we will do that okay so uh, you you click on this part here I'll zoom if I here okay you click on this this arrow click here and there is something called as edit column in edit column I have bound field so you need to create three bound field here for one is for ID one is for name and one is for city one two and three okay and then you change the property of these bound field so I click on first bound field and I will change the header text of it I'll say student name or oh sorry student ID and I will change the data field uh, which is having here you can see the ID so I will I will I will write the same thing here in the data field this is the data field ID next thing is I'll do the same thing for second bound field I will write here student name and the same thing I'll do for the data field I will write the name from the data table then third bound field, I am I'm having student city and the city is going to be here in the data field. Okay, so now I will click OK here and you will see student ID, student name and student city. We have some extra columns here, column 0, column 1 and column 2. I want to remove it. You can remove it with the help of edit column and then there is this checkbox auto generate field. You will you will uncheck it and those column is going to be removed okay now what I want is basically these these columns are bound field controls you can see here in the source code it is the HTML code here we have grid view we have column tag and inside that I have three bound field ID name and city but instead of that I want to convert my bound field into the template field so I can do with the help of this this arrow and then edit column and then there is this convert this field into a template field. So I, I, I select this ID and convert this field into template field. Select the name template field, city and template field. Hit OK. You will see in the source code that instead of bound field, I have template field here. You can see now inside the column, I have a ASP.NET tag which says the template field. And more precisely, inside the template field, I have edit item template. And if you observe here, your ID name and the city is binded with some text box. You can see here. So your ID name and city is text is binded with text box one, text box two, and text box three. You can also visualize it, visualize it in the grid view. Click on this and edit template. Remember, we have three columns: column zero, column one, and column three for ID name and city. And inside that, I need to select edit item and you will see your text box text box one for id and then when you select column one 
for student name and you will select edit item template you will see text box text box 2 for the name in the same way we have text box 3 okay so that means you can drag and drop any control which is bindable inside this template field and you can configure it that's the way okay thank you so much oh not thank you so much i'm so sorry okay so i will click on this end template editing so uh, we will get back this data grid view okay now what i want is i want to bind my data grid view with this data table so id name and city is going to be binded here so my data that is one two and three and abraham lincoln smith is going to be loaded inside this data grid view that is that uh, that's the thing that we want right so i need to click on the default.aspx.cs file that is that is our Oh, what is this? This is magnifier. Okay, I will I will click on the okay close and then what I want is Control editor L for my solution explorer. I need to click on the default.aspx.cs file Which is this one which is a code behind filed and here we will write the code for the grid view See here it is written page load which is similar to that of form load event uh, in the windows application so first thing first we will import some namespaces which is using system.data.sql.sql client and the data which is prerequisite to write the you know sql code here so i hope you remember uh, the part from the windows application if you haven't visit that please i insist you to go through those videos and understand it okay so the first step is sql connection con equals to new sql connection and i will get my connection string from my database i will press f4 and it will give you the property window and there is your connection string i copy that and i'll put inside this double quotes next thing is i need to remove some double quotes from here and double quotes from here and i'll put the at the rate at the rate symbol here what is this okay the rate symbol here and then this is your connection string the next step is sql command cmd equals to new sql command and i will write here my query select star from tbl underscore data one and then i will write my or then i will pass my connection string object next thing is i need to call sql data raptor sda sda equals to new sql data raptor and i'll pass the command object next thing is i'll call the empty data table dt equals to new empty data table and then i'll fill that data table with the help of um, with the help of this sda that is your data adapter object and then i'll call the grid view control and then i'll call the data source and the source is with the dt and then i'll call the method bind method grid view one dot data data bind okay so that's it now if i get back to default.aspx i can change the look and fill of this grid view by clicking over here and then out of format you can take any of the scheme here i'll go with the simple there are so many actually i'll go with autumn let me go with autumn or let me go with simple and then click ok there is one more property you need to change here go to the default.aspx select your grid view and press f4 you will get the property window and you need to select data key names here and you need to write here id okay so this is your data key okay so now everything is i think settled down let's run this application and see if it is working or not so it'll open up the firefox uh, which is which is which will show you the you know the 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 data that is one two three abraham lincoln smith which is there inside our uh, database or the data table if i click on the dpl underscore data one and then show table data then you will see that we have the same data there you go one two three abraham lincoln smith abraham lincoln smith okay so this is it i hope you understand the you know this application this is the pretty simple application i hope you understand it thank you so much for listening to me and if you haven't subscribed my channel i insist you i request you to please subscribe my channel thank you for helping me thank you so much